Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a Banggood window shopping video. We haven't done one of these in a pretty long while actually. So let's go ahead and get started. So there's a bunch of new quadcopters that are actually have been released. And uh, we have this thing that's called the Waytech Spider. They're basically cloning the Carrera I think here. And uh, this Jeb RC Mark II looks pretty sick. However, the 7-inch Mark II has proven to have issues with 7, uh, with the sensitive gyro, which is the Mark II 7-inch. This is not the 7-inch, this is the 5-inch, so we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and check this out. So the way this works is I'll leave a link to everything down below as in the current order that I'm going by so you can follow along. And if you thought anything was interesting, you go ahead and click on it and check it out. So let's go ahead and check out this Waytech Spider thingy. So it's a Waytech Spider 200 millimeter. So it's a five inch quadcopter, plug and play F4. All right, Bill Holly 32 ESCs. Let's go ahead and check out the ESCs and uh, let's see how it looks. It looks pretty nice, actually. It's a 200 millimeter, so it's probably a four inch. I don't think it's a five inch, but I could be wrong. We could check that down there. So I don't know what kind of camera they're using here. And these motors are new motors. 23065. So it's not 2306, it's 2306.5. Unless that's an S, and that's 2600 kV. So if we go down to the specs, and there is no specs for some reason. Maybe they were up there. There they are. So what is it using here? Um, for ESC, it's the Raptor. I don't even know what ESC that is. I've never seen it before. Uh, it comes with plug and play both FR Sky and Fly Sky 2306 motors. So it's just another Chinese quadcopter. I'll leave a link to it down below. And how much does this thing cost? <clears throat> Ah, it's pretty expensive, so I mean it should perform very well. If it doesn't, then that's just a waste of money right there. So Geb RC is well known for pretty damn good frames and as well as pretty damn good quadcopters sometimes. And this is a plug and play and bind and fly. So let's just see what does it come with. Uh bind and fly we want. It doesn't really I think it's just FR Sky. So it's around 260 bucks. FR Sky, it only comes with for FR Sky the RXSR receiver here and let's see what else do we have 7075 aluminum that's good uh esc's mp6000 gyro so it's it's a decent gyro up to 600 milliwatt vtx f4 and let's see if we can see some of the specs here or see something that's on there so it's using a i think this is a run cam jeb rc motors jeb rc motors are made by rcn power so if you like rcn power that's what you're basically getting this frame just looks so absolutely phenomenal i really love this frame uh, looks really nice really really nice actually check this out so it, it's uh it's, it looks like a proper freestyle frame yeah um it, it could be completely worth every single penny here so i'll leave a link to this down below i'll try to get my hands on one of these and uh we'll see how well this one's gonna play out now let's go down here sunny sky what is this 2305 2400 kv 150 dollars why is it 150 bucks that's pretty damn expensive so it's a motor kit, I guess. It's 2480 kV. Um with ESCs, R45. So they're 45 amp 2 to 6 S ESCs, I guess. And uh this is pretty interesting actually. So maximum current of 50 amp. What are they? Bill what? 32. Hmm, it doesn't really say, does it? It's a Bill Holly S ESC, so it's not Bill Holly 32 ESC. BB2 chip, okay. Ooh, I like the filtration here. So I have tested these before. Well, not these, a different version of these ESCs. And uh, they seem to have really good filtration, actually. And I think the person, I, I'm pretty sure, actually, who does their ESCs. I think Spedex does their ESCs. So we got some filtration going on here. Unfortunately, we can't see the backside. And uh, we do have a heat sink. And we got some tantalum caps right there. And uh, this, yeah, I think the MOSFETs are under here. But I have no idea what's on the other side so sunny sky motors are really good spedex does pretty good esc so this is kind of uh if the motors perform very well like a premium motor and the escs perform pretty good then this is a really good package deal i think um or yeah it could be a pretty good package let's just say the motors are 100 bucks and then 48 bucks for ESCs. Yeah, so if the, if the ESCs test really good, this could be a really nice premium package. If the ESCs test very good and the motors were uh, performing like premium motors. And usually uh, Sunny Sky do perform very well, actually. So this is, I've also left a link to this down below. So this is a really nice kit that I really want to get my hands on. 
So let's go down here. There's a bunch of new things. This is what I told you. Like in summer, nothing really comes out that much. But then towards when you get into September and you got start getting into winter, that's when it really starts picking up. I don't know why. I guess that's the season for it for some reason. So uh, these don't look so interesting, but maybe we can get one. So we got some new hex drivers here. Let's check them out. I think these are cheaper than the ones that I got, the Drill Pro ones. And I do have those linked down below, like a little bit further down below, the ones that I recommend. Because I still have them and I, they st I still use them to this day. So these are always a must-have. I'll leave a link to these down below. I'll probably pick up some and just test them out and let you know if they're good. Um, so these are really a must-have, actually, these titanium plated uh, uh, hex driver thingies. They're really good to have. So let's see what else. So Diatone Mumba, I know that one had some issues, uh, but not this one, the single one. Did it change manufacturer, if I, if I remember correctly? UFO ESC, hmm. UFOs like Hack RC, I think they're like basically the same company, just different names. And usually it's a hit and miss product. I'll leave a link to it down below. This is a 50 amp BLA32 ESC. And it does have an RGB LED, and I think that's all. Uh, that's really scary. Uh, we don't know if they're even in parallel or series, so I have no idea. And it's supposedly a 50 amp ESC, which I strongly doubt. But I'm going to try to get some. $14, so I'll have to link to this down below. So I'll try to get some of these, and we're going to go ahead and test them. So it's really nice to see finally some new ESCs coming out. This looks pretty nice. I don't know if it's if it's a clone of anything. It's a 3-inch. It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, let's take a look at this. Oh, it looks okay. I do, I'm not really digging all these holes, but that's, all, I think, just to save some of the weight down. Camera protection, we do have camera protection. iFlight is usually hit and miss. This is what I consider iFlight. Uh, look at this stack inside. That looks pretty trippy, actually. So they made it longer to keep it kind of like a low ride. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. It's full of every, it's full of things inside. 165 grams. What does it have inside? So I'm guessing sensitive gyro. 25 amp ESC, uh, 11, uh, 1408 motors, 4100 kV, pretty good. Okay, 3 inch props. Oh, run cam split mini. Okay, okay. So, yeah, this could be pretty nice. No wonder there's a lot of things inside there. This actually looks pretty nice, to be honest. So, but it's, it's pretty expensive, but I think, you know, just because of the, some of the specs, I'll leave linked it down below. Uh, some of the specs, like, for example, the run cam uh, split here, which allows you to record HD footage without adding a GoPro to this 3-inch, which is really nice. And then uh, the weight really helps in some countries. So you can still record HD video while not sacrificing the overall performance of your 3-inch quadcopter. <laughs> so this is uh, this is kind of like the Hellgate Finder thingy. It's basically like a buzzer. Uh, cheaper version, a lot cheaper actually. Uh, $12.99. It does have a rechargeable battery. And it probably does have an accelerometer to kind of know when it's it, it has stopped. Or basically, if you crash and your quad hasn't moved in a while, and it'll start beeping. So it seems as if it has a loud buzzer, as that's what it's stating here. And um, yeah, cancel the alarm. You could just click that button. Oh, it even does. Ha it even has an LED, so that's really nice. That could be very useful, actually. So that's cool. Well, I'll leave a link to this down below. Probably get a couple of these. Pretty sure a lot of people might stack up on these. Uh, these are very useful lately. I've, I've been losing a ton load of quads. What is this? This is an F7 flight controller with VTX. Okay, this is a must test because these are very, in my opinion, at least in my experience, are very unreliable. Oh my goodness. And it even has a sensitive gyro. So this is, um. so what this is basically, it's all on flight controller with a VTX super sensitive gyro and what else that's that's what it really is and um it's using ipex not using mmcx and this thing gets usually these get so hot that they end up desoldering themselves from what i've seen so what they did is probably took like 220 by 20 stacks and just stuck it on a pdb that's what it looks like here we got two caps here for filtration we have a current sensor what do we have on this side um hmm, just a vtx or a little diode there it seems very minimal, a bit scary for my taste. Um, what does it come with? I don't know. It does have a low ESR capacitor. It seems it's not even a Rubicon, I think. So I'll leave a link to this down below if anyone want to check that out. I'll try to get one in. We'll probably stick it on something. 
and seeing how well it performs. But um, I don't have high hopes for it at the current moment of time. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is which one is this one? So this is pretty cool. Caddx and Fly Color are working together. Let's see. That's a pretty good price for ESC flight controller and a camera. So what do we have here? So we have a Fly Color X Tower F4. So it's an F4 40 amp Bill 32 ESCs and a Caddx Turbo S2 FPV camera. I've never tested this camera, so I have no idea how good it is. Um, and let's see. So what do we have? We have a 3.3 5 volt and a 12 volt regulator on the flight controller or the ESC. Uh, probably on the flight controller since this is under the flight controller. MPU 6000 gyro, F4 processor. Uh, it even has SD card expansion, OSD, 40 amp ESCs, 45 amp burst current, 3 to 6S, and uh, the RBL Holly 32. It doesn't say anything about telemetry. I highly doubt it has telemetry too. You know, but the thing is what I'm really not liking with fly color sometimes, even though they provide you with all the cables, you know, I wish they put some pads to solder because I'm not, you know, they do provide you with the correct, like the, the camera cable will actually have the two ends of the correct for the camera and as well as the board here. But, you know, sometimes I just, you know, would like to just solder and just get it over with. The camera looks pretty nice. I've never tested it though. I've tested the F1. That one was the fastest camera I've ever tested. So overall, this is a really nice price for a setup like this. Now, how good is the setup? I have no idea. This is the X Tower. I do have the X Tower, actually. I need to test it. I did an overview video, and I will be doing a noise testing video for it as well. Um, so it's 90 bucks. That's a pretty darn good price if the thing is good, because some budget pieces cost around 70 bucks. And this is if this is performing really, really good, then uh, with a camera, uh, this is just gorgeous. This is like a budget bundle with a proper camera. It's like a premium budget bundle, basically. So, yeah, I'll have to link to this down below. Fly Color usually has good products, usually. Most of the time. So, what is this diatone? Um, which one should we even look at? This is a 540 or 530. Whoa, these are huge, I think. Are they? Let's check this out. So, it's an F4. MPU 6000 gyro because it says 8K there. TBS Unify 800 milliwatt. MPU 6000 gyro. Motors 2308 1950KV. 5 inch props. What is is this supposed to be? This is like a 6 inch setup? How many? Well, I'm kind of confused now. It looks so weird. It looks pretty crazy actually. I don't know what the hell they were thinking. But, um. <laughs> Yeah, I'll leave a link to this. I'll try to get my hands on one of these. That's for sure. See what's up with that because that looks pretty strange actually All right So let's see Some GPS is I do have a HDLRC GPS. This is a nice backpack. I'm using it actually now I really like it. This thing comes with the drone here. I'll leave a link to this down below if you want to check it out It's a really good backpack. It has a lot of space inside not a big fan. Let's see of these things. Nope, don't care. Okay. So T Motor F80 Pro. They're finally releasing a new T Motor F80. They haven't released one in a while. Um, I'm gonna try to get some of these because they're sometimes they're really nice. Um, I think they'll be really good for like a 1900 kV success build. They're really big motors. I forgot the size of them, but they're pretty big actually. T motor and Racer Star? What? What the hell is this? T motor and Racer Star RT 11 1106 6000 KV. So the brand name is T motor and Racer Star. Now I don't know if this is true or not. Arc magnets then possibly true? Oh my goodness. Well, um hmm. Looks interesting. It looks really interesting. Um, kind of has the same design that that T Motor does for their motors. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below. I'll probably pick up some and just build a drone mesh split scene with it, and see how well that'll perform. So that that's that's new. This one, the Hobby Wing X Rotor Micro. So this is pretty cool actually. I think this is if this proves to be good, we're gonna be seeing a lot of this. And uh, this is the current combo, but let's quickly talk. I'll have to link to it down below. Let's talk about some of its specs here. If I remember correctly, this is the same one. 
So this ESC basically has a 10 volt regulator on board and a 5 volt regulator on board for your VDX basically is the 10 volt. And Hobby Wing, I guess, is known to have very good components. Um, I haven't really used much of their stuff, so I don't know. And it just has the latest of everything here. We have an F4 flight controller. Um, doesn't The pictures don't look really nice, to be honest. What is that SD card expansion? Possibly. Is this a 20 by 20 stack? Oh, it is a 20 by 20 stack. That's crazy. That's pretty crazy. Filtration looks okay for a 20 by 20 stack so this is actually really nice 100 bucks actually i thought it was the bigger one i was talking about the bigger one but it still had a 10 volt regulator on board that's still pretty nice actually this is meant for hyper lights i guess or feather light frames <clears throat> feather light builds should i say so i'll have to link that one down below so yeah we did get a bunch of new things that are coming out holly bro copus i have one on the way hopefully it'll get here soon i'll leave a link to down below so it's using the F7 with the Tico 32 ESC. So theoretically, it should be very good, especially if the frame is good. Motors are using proper motors this time. So overall, that build looks like an absolute beast. So let's take a look here. Hmm. Um, everything just looks all right, I guess. I think I've seen these things before here. Maybe we should go check out the tools and stuff and the receivers. So Dell RC Rocket. Uh, I know there's two versions. I guess the 50 amp, but I thought it was a 45 amp and a 60 amp version, as I know. Uh, they're releasing two of them. Banggood only is showing one. So I don't know. They're supposed to be released this month sometime. I think actually tomorrow, probably official release, maybe. I'll have to link to this down below if you want to go ahead and check it out also. Here's a Vifly Finder. It's basically the same thing as the thing we just saw earlier, but it's a little bit more expensive. I'll leave a link to it down below. These are very useful. Very, very useful, actually. Let's check hmm, <clears throat> battery chargers. I have enough battery chargers, that's why I haven't gotten any more. But I'm just curious to see what's new. I mean, there's only so much you can do with a battery charger. So you just got a bunch of new batteries. RC Lens is really picking up here on Banggood lately. They have a lot of things. They're just rebranding from other companies. So, and putting a pretty good price, I guess. Uh, let's check out tools. That's not tools. This is tools. I really want to start playing with these little helicopter toys and stuff. And modding them. And just playing stuff. Just doing crazy stuff with the little RC cars and things that I have planned for. I really want to do that. This is really nice, actually. I want to see if I can get one of these. I'll leave a link to it down below if you wanted to check it out. So it looks pretty cool, actually. Let's check this out. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, there's nothing really else, I think. Do a couple more pages here. I have this on the way, but I think it got sent back from customs. I really wanted to try this one. So, yeah, it's a really nice. It's pretty cheap, actually, too. It's under bucks. So I'm curious how well this thing is. Um... So hopefully it'll it'll make it here. Let's see what else do we have. Um, that's really it here. Um, let's see. Hmm. RC airplanes. I really want one. I really do, but I have no idea which one to get. I really want to kind of get into it just a little bit, just to cruise around, not worry about three minutes and crashing into something. Just cruise up in higher altitude. Uh, it's, I think the tech one was a good one. Let's see radio and receivers then. So yeah, mine is broken or I broke it. I, I just don't know. So yeah, hopefully Bang is watching because they sent it to me. Maybe they sent me another one because I was really want. I really wanted to do the battery mod. I was actually working on it when I figured out it was broken or I either broke it. I haven't turned it on before. 180 bucks for this. It looks nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll get one and well i think that's it guys so there isn't really much right out right now as i'd like it to be and uh, i'm still waiting for my orders to come in so we're gonna see how well that does when they come in i really want to start playing with these also kind of uh doing some mods to them and just playing with them seeing what we can do we can do some crazy stuff with these and well i think that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any suggestions please let me know and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.